Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. I received another great question on my channel here from, from Michael. And basically Michael is asking, how fast does serotide discus relieve basically respiratory symptoms? It's a great question. Thank you for all, all the great questions you, you're sending me. I, I, it really keeps me going and motivates me to, to make more and more videos. So thank you for that and please keep them coming. But uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the serotide um, discus. It's, it looks like this. It's an inhaler. It's used for asthma and COPD. Um, unfortunately, just to answer Michael and those of you who are interested, this is not a reliever inhaler. So this is very important to note. So serotide is a controller. It's not a reliever. What's the difference? Controller basically means that you take it regularly every day for a number of weeks, months, years and it controls the asthma. So basically, if you're using it for asthma, in this circumstance specifically, it just keeps the asthma under control. So that's really what it's supposed to do. If you're taking it in an asthma attack, it probably won't relieve you of your symptoms. You won't be breathing much better afterwards. It might do something, but it's, ve it's quite slow to act. So I think in those situations, if you're having an asthma attack and you need relief because you can't breathe, you probably need to reach for a different inhaler, such as a Ventolin inhaler or some other inhaler that relieves, that acts quickly. So these are things like Foster, the puffer, or Symbicort, this one. So these are inhalers that can also relieve. So generally it's a blue inhaler as a reliever. So Ventolin is the most common one or Salbutamol. Symbicort, potentially, or a Foster in inhaler. So these are generally inhalers that I would consider relievers, re that act quickly. There may be some others as well, so Ipratropium, so Atrovent, that's another inhaler that can sometimes work as a reliever. But basically, these are inhalers that are used for acute asthma attacks. These are relievers. And controller medications are things like serotide discus. So these are inhalers that you use long term. Hope this was helpful. If you have uh, any other questions or want further clarifications, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in future videos.